Okay, what we're looking at in this video, we're looking at the instrumentation amplifier and we're seeing at how the instrumentation amplifier actually operates with uh, two uh, different inputs. So we're thinking superposition, we have a voltage source here and we're putting that into V1. Next time we'll consider the voltage source here and we'll put that voltage source into V2. So let's take V1 for the moment. If we have V2 set to ground, 0 volts, and over here we have V1 set to 0 volts, what we're effectively saying is the instrumentation amplifier will have a gain in one for one input, and we're going to call that particular gain, in this case, V out is equal to A times V1. Okay? And over on this, ca this case, what we've got now here, we've got V out is equal to B, some value of gain, multiplied by V2. So we can write out our expressions very simply as uh, V out is equal to A times V1 uh, V1 plus B times V2. Now we have already established that the differential mode voltage or the differential mode gain must be V1 minus V2 and we've also established that the common mode signal coming in must be equal to V1 plus V2 all divided by 2. Okay, so we've got our simple expressions. If we now put those two together and we put VDs and V1s, V2s and express them in terms of A and V1, we're going to find that 2 V1 is equal to VD, the differential mode voltage, plus 2 VCM, common mode voltage. If we, if we uh, expand that back down into terms of V1, so V1 must equal VD, differential mode voltage over 2, plus VCM. Okay, we can do exactly the same kind of work, so similarly uh, we can say that V2 is equal to uh, minus VD upon 2 plus VCM. So we've effectively got two equations. We've got V1 as a term in terms of differential and common, and we've got V2 in terms of differential and common. If we're now to write those in terms of V out, okay. We now have my output voltage V out would be equal to A common mode voltage plus differential voltage over 2 plus B common mode voltage minus differential voltage over 2. Okay. If I now collect on those terms and just expand them, so A times VCM, A VD over 2, B VCM, and B VD over 2, okay, and collect, I can now write V out is equal to the differential mode voltage into A minus B all divided by 2, plus the common mode voltage A plus B. Okay, and we'd already defined before that AD, the differential mode gain, therefore A minus B over 2, and the common mode voltage ACM would simply be A plus B. If we write those together and put them into the common mode rejection ratio, where common mode rejection ratio is differential mode gain, AD, over common mode gain, what we would get is a half into A minus B all divided by A plus B. And this is one of those fundamental equations that we arrive at. So the common mode rejection ratio is equal to a half A minus B over A plus B, where A and B are the respective gains of different parts of the channel. This is one of the equations that we'll actually use later on in some of our design work, so it's good to be able to actually get to this derivation.